how you guys doing? What's going on, Potty Crashers? Yes, honey, five days into the new year, honey, and we are still here. So make sure you guys like the video, share the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, Living Fearless. And also, girl, check me out on my Instagram, Miss underscore yummy 25. Girl, it's a lot of shit going on. Have y'all been hearing what's going on? R. Kelly, listen, that documentary doing numbers on Lifetime. Everybody and their mama talking about it. Shit, we been talking about it. We talked about that shit last year. Remember when we were trying to get his ass out the house in Atlanta here? Oh, yeah, we went back to back. We did lives on it, but ain't nobody was hearing us out, huh? Oh, yeah, we already talked about it, but listen, we're going to talk about it again. So let's talk about the celebrities that have so much shit to say. Mind you, K. Michelle and Tamar Braxton, honey, they taking up for the nigga talking about y'all should not be bashing him. You know, it's more people to it. He been abused, too. And I told y'all that, honey, yeah. But, you know, people say, you know what, it does not justify, you know, just because you've been abused, it doesn't justify you abusing other people you're a grown man you know right from wrong you know and you continue to do wrong and you thought you was guy and you didn't think the shit would catch up to you and I don't even know if he care now I mean I don't I don't know I don't know R. Kelly but um girl it's a whole big old thing so what do y'all think about K. Michelle and Tamar Braxton mind you those are the girls that I'm always talking about that's always loud and 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 full of drama I don't know I think it's something there so comment so other people that stood up and spoke out that celebrities John Legend he said he don't care what nobody said he think he did what was right because ain't nobody want to speak up like Jay-Z and stuff like that and mind you Damon Dash which is Aaliyah's ex-boyfriend Right, Damon Dash, she spoke out. Now you know Damon Dash, she got big money, big clout, big power. Okay, and him and Jay Z used to be friends. He said Jay Z supported R. Kelly and knew that R. Kelly was like the kids. Yeah, they, they, he said that um, Jay Z knew all about it and he didn't care. He still wanted to do the collab album with him because you know Jay Z and R. Kelly has some type of. We run the tour both for both worlds. I've never been into R. Kelly or Jay Z. I was a neither one of them big fans, so I really don't know. But they said they had an album together, you know. So uh, Dame said he was upset when Jay Z decided to work with him and put more money in his pockets when everything was out, and he knew what had what he done to Aaliyah. Because Aaliyah told him, Aaliyah said, "Listen." You know, he hurt me. That's all y'all need to know. He's a bad man. And I respect because somehow, I mean, I don't need to know details. You know, he's a bad man. He did you wrong. I believe her. Okay? And I hope people are not out here exploiting Aaliyah and telling people oh, what he did to her. Listen, if he pissed on her and did whatever, I don't want to hear that about Aaliyah. I'm sorry. I don't want to hear the details. No, that is sick. Because, first of all, you have to remember, you know, people are still victims in this, all right? And how they feel and the last thoughts people think in their mind is Aaliyah was, you know, did, you know, going to deep. Listen, he did her wrong, he, he, okay? And, and took advantage of her and hurted her and abused her mentally, emotionally, and all. I get it. I guess some people... You have to go in detail, and that's a damn shame. You know, you. I, I feel like you shouldn't have to explain yourself. You know what I'm saying? If I say he hurt me, he hurt me. I don't have to go into detail to prove myself to you. And a lot of times it's not proving yourself. People are just messy, and they just want juicy gossip and entertainment. And they don't care. They just want to be nosy, and they just want to know more juice. You know what I'm saying? That's the time we live in, which is very sad, but that's the time we live in. And uh, Dame, he said, you know, Jay-Z, he blamed Jay-Z for a lot of that stuff, too, because Jay-Z, you put money in his pockets to enable him to continue to hurt these girls. You knew what was up with him. 
He said, were you up with it too, Jay? Beyonce? You better watch out. You better watch out, honey. Okay? I, I don't understand. I don't know. So let's listen to a clip of what Damien had to say. In our comment, let us know what you guys think about it. Let me know what you guys thought about the documentary. Everybody's talking about it. Some people are saying, you know what? Lifetime, we got Oprah, we got Whoopi. We got so many African-American celebrities that are doing good. They need more of that energy. You know, it's almost seemed like we have to do bad in order to get the spotlight. But, girl, when I tell you, listen, we need to have a black community sit down talk. Because, I mean, I know white people got molesters too, but God damn it, it is a whole bunch of these African-American celebrities that are molesting these kids. You're talking about Chris Stokes, they bringing his name up and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Girl, it's something else. It is something else. And um, we don't talk about stuff. We always keep stuff closed. We don't, we have to communicate, you know shit to protect other people and these girls I, I i i did have to thought okay well where are the girls parents why wouldn't they responsible they supposed to be the guardian of these girls you know what i'm saying why didn't they keep them safe but i remember when i was 12 and 13 i did stuff my parents had no idea what i was with niggas my parents had no idea what and my parents are very strict, but I've always found the way to be rebellious. So sometimes it's not all about the parents. You know, I'm sure some parents, you know, gave their kids away. But I don't think all parents gave their kids away to R. Kelly, you know. A lot of these kids and teenagers are going through stuff. They're looking for love in certain places. They feel like they can't really be themselves at home. So they always looking for an outlet, you know what I'm saying? And when your kid is looking for an outlet of acceptance of whatever, sometimes they'll fall into the hands of a monster that would accept them, but at the same time, they're being in another prison. They don't even realize it, okay? Shit, I'm talking about from motherfucking experience, bitch. All right? Shit, honey. So let's comment. Let's talk about it. Oh, shit, we got to play the video, right? Okay, let's play the video. All right, here we go. But yesterday, as much as I could tolerate, and I'm not going to lie, as a human, I was tight. And I remember Leah trying to talk about it, and she couldn't. You know, she just would leave it at that dude was a bad man. And I didn't really want to know what he did to the extent that I might feel the need, you know, to, to approach to, to, to just deal with it. But it just was so much hurt for her to revisit it. It was like, I wouldn't even want to revisit it without a professional. Whatever got done was terrible. But I've been, I've been tight about this shit for years. If you remember the best of both worlds, you don't see my name on that. Your name is not on either album. Hell no, I never wanted no parts of that. So when Holmes was doing that shit, I was like, bro, you know our homie violated, and he violated my girl. He violated a friend of yours. When he moved forward with that, I was like, yo, I don't want no parts of that. Put my part of that to, uh, to Aaliyah's breast cancer thing, you know? You know, I watched some of it yesterday as much as I could talk. But what happened was, as soon as it came out, you know, the tapes came out. So karmically, it, was, it couldn't breathe. It already destroyed, but then years later they tried to do the tour. Um, the best of both. The best yeah, of but it still didn't work out. But you notice I wasn't a part of any of that. But and the karma happens. But the thing I didn't understand is I was like, I know I'm not fucking with that. And because of the moral challenge and him choosing one way, I knew morally we weren't the same. So to me, Rockefeller was the funk. <laughs> it was over because again the moral fabric was compromised. Like damn, that was my girl. Mm. Yeah, that was shit. You liked it. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, we liked as a friend. We know what that man did. Money before a principle. Is that intentional or is it something in the air? Like, what is it? But again, I had tried to put, put a lot of that behind me because I know the anger of addressing it, what it does, it becomes a distraction. But what happened was, as soon as it came out, All right, right well, y'all heard it here, honey, okay? What do y'all think? Shit, you know what I think? I think all of them need to be on the line, okay? R. Kelly. Six nine, um, Nikki boyfriend Patty Weddy. Who else? Fabulous for hitting on the girl. Yeah, art. Listen, abuse, abuse, abuse. Okay, 
And people still hanging up with Fabulous, which I don't understand. And just because these young girls are allowing it, it don't make it right. Just, I don't know if I ever seen Fabulous. I, I still be mad at his ass. And I don't care. Emily could love on him all she want to, okay? But mm-mm, that ain't right. Mm-mm. I still would have a dislike for Fabulous. I couldn't take no pictures with Fabulous. I couldn't do no business with Fabulous. All because I know what he did to Emily. Even though Emily forgives him and she don't mind, I don't know. It's just... And, you know, maybe I've seen so many girls get abused by their boyfriends when I was younger. And, it, yeah, so mm -mm, I ain't with that shit. All right. Well, comment, like, share. Let us know what you guys think. And I'll see you guys sooner than later. Bye. <laughs>